Hey everybody and welcome back. Um, I've had to come off the house for a little while because I'm building a um, art, an art online art gallery um, where people can uh, make their own shop and start selling their own photos and paintings etc. Um, and also what I'm doing is I'm going to build in here in Blender a 3D art gallery and then we're going to import it into either Unreal Engine or Unity, I don't, I'm not sure which yet, um, and then it will be exported to HTML5 and it will be linked to the website and people can actually look around the gallery. Um, but we have to work out the flow, how people are going to walk around. So I'm just going to start with a plane. Let's get the number tab up here. We're just going to have a 10 meter by 10 meter. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to control A and reset the scale of it. <coughs> Um, then we're going to inset, uh, I to inset, um, probably about 20, uh, 1.2, 0.15, 0.15 I'll do, and then we're going to hit that and extrude up. Extrude on the Z. Whoop. Um, so these will be the walls, the outer walls. I'm just going to make them like three meters, maybe. Okay. So there we go. That is a three meters. Um, should I? 10 meters. Do you think that's enough? For an art gallery. At the moment on the website there's like two we've got two shops on there. So we could just sort of split it. But no, hang on a minute. I'm going to undo that. Um, so I'm just going back into object mode. We're going to make it 20 meters. Okay, and then we're going to reset the scale, then we're going to I, oh, we're going to go into edit mode, I, 0.15 I think it was, oh, it's, it's whatever it is, I, don't, I didn't see, um, anyway let's just so we're going to select the outside, hit the E on the Z, and go up three meters. So there we go, there's our three meters. Um, right, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to loop cut to make the walls, to extend the walls. I'm just going to build like new walls. Um, what I'm going to do first is go into object mode. We're going to build a, a cube. Um, let's just bring that on down. <clears throat> and we're going to have it as 0.5. Oh, we need that on 3 meters. 0.5 and 0.5. So they're going to be like columns within the within the building so these are going to be like the structure so we're just going to shift D on the Y and then shift D on the Y again and then if we select those we're just going to have some more shift D on the X something like that I think for now Okay, <clears throat> um, but because 
what we're going to do is just partition it in the center there. So I'm going to build another wall, shift A, put a cube in, let's just bring it on down to zero. And there. Um, <clears throat> and what I might do is partition it across because then we've still got room. So we need to make that not, I think it was 0.2, I think we had it at, and three meters high. So we just bring it on up, bring it on up. And then, um, what do we have as 20? So I'm gonna bring it in there. I just want to take it into the center there. And then what I might do is just bring a partition here. And then what maybe what we'll do is in the game editor is to have the person, we'll have a partition here and then we'll have the person sort of like starting here. So then they can go in either, I think. Shift D on the Y, and then we're just gonna rotate that. But we'll just make it into 10. And then we're just gonna have it a little bit like that. we have it more or less in line and then you can either go that way or that way I think that's how it's going to work or we could just have it like that have a partition down the center yeah oh yeah 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 that'll do nice partition down the center there and then they can work their way round like that so that's a nice flow there's no obstacles in the way. We can use the columns for the paintings. Um, maybe I should do, let's just bring those over here and then shift D on the Y just to use them as well. So this will be pretty much it, if you see what I mean. So we're going to be like this tall. I think that is actually not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, so I mean obviously these the lighting in Blender, we won't be using this lighting. Um, Shift D on the X, let's just bring us over here. So obviously we won't be using these lights, we'll be using the lights in Unreal or Unity. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm probably gonna go with Unreal, to be honest, because I do like the lighting in Unreal. Um, I think it's a lot. Ooh, sun. Yeah. Unreal, I think we're going to go for. So later on we'll import this into the game engine. So what I'm going to do now is just select this, go into edit, because we want to make it as realistic as possible. So we are going to do not do that. We're going to do a loop cut, control R, here and just bring it down, point nine, yeah, point nine. <clears throat> I think that will be just nice. So we just select those, whoops. We'll just select all those and then we want 
to extrude. I think that was the one. Um, we want to extrude, say, yeah, I mean, that looks okay. And then if we just select the top and then control B to bevel. And then we want to that free, I do. So that was point two, point two. So we'll just select here. Edit control R and then point at, was it point two? Oh, I don't know. Point nine, that was it. And then again select face. And then we need to extrude and then just select the top control B. Ah, uh, you know what we haven't done. Control A and scale because it's all over the place. Select Control B. There we go. Lovely jubbly. And then did that happen on the other side or was it just on that side? I don't know. It was just on that side, that's fine. That's fine because we're only going to be using this side anyway, so we need to select this one. Go into Edit, Control R, point 0.9. That'll do. <coughs> And then we can, I need to go back into edit mode, control A and reset scale. And then just select this top one, which is uh, select the faces, scale, extrude out. Maybe that's a bit too much. Okay, and then we just need to select at the top. Control B to bevel. That'll do. The pillars. I suppose we better do them as well. In fact, what I'm going to do is just going to do one. Let's come out of edit. So that one, control A, scale, go to edit, control R, point one, point nine. Uh, it looks a bit lower than the others. Oh, that's why. There we go. Um, and then we will need to select faces and extrude. Uh, 
and <clears throat> control, I need to select the edges. Control, oh, oh no, I don't want to do that. Control Z, Control B. There we go. And then what we can do is we can actually just get rid of that one. Duplicate the Y. Whoops. Shift D on the Y. Here. Gonna get rid of that one. <clears throat> Maybe we'll just leave it like that. Let's just get rid of those two. Three, even. Shift and Shift D on the X. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. And then later on, it can be a case of um, making a doorway somewhere. And then um, I can make a doorway somewhere along here. And then go into the next part. We can make two doorways, actually, one in and one out. Or like two double doorways or whatever. I'm not really sure. <clears throat> so that's that at the moment. Um, next we'll, on the next video I'm going to import it into the Unreal Engine. Or I'll either import it or we may Maybe this is just a design and we'll build it up in Unreal. I don't know yet. I just need to work out the, where everything's going to go. So this will be, as I say, we've only got two artists on the website with the shops. <coughs> with the shops at the moment. So that'll be these two. And then as we get more, the... The gallery will get bigger, the virtual art gallery will get bigger, but this will be an HTML5 and it will be a page on the website so people can actually go in there and actually move around, walk around the gallery. Um, I may put some sort of like plaque or something next to the painting and then if people like it, they can like click on it and then it will open up a new web page with going to that particular painting or photo or just to the artist shop to their actual storefront and then they can browse on their storefront it'll be up to them whether they go on the actual art gallery or whether they go onto the just onto the storefront on the website but uh, it's something different isn't it you know what i mean um, so that's it for now. Um, as I say, the next one is going to be a little chance to have a little think where I'm going to go with this. What we're going to do next, because obviously we need to put the paintings. I may create more columns on there. Um, yeah, and we'll see where we go. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Don't forget we've got a Patreon page if you want to sign up for there and you can get some... Uh, some of the models that we've been creating um you don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell um where you'll be notified of more videos like this one and the following ones so thanks for watching and we will see you again on the next video tada for now